All right, guys, next video. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to route the headstock for binding the headstock. And um, I, I actually did a class on this jig um, a couple years ago at the Ukulele Guild. Um, I just use this specifically for routing my headstocks. The other jig that I have to route the binding is based on the same principle. Um, I use the body with a quarter inch down cut bit and the bearing foot very similar to this that's hooked up to my uh, body binding router jig. What's interesting about this is I've already zeroed it out so all homemade, did you see that gap right there? That's my zero plate so this is zeroed out so what we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this for the depth of the binding right now. I don't use bearings well not the uh, step bearings that you sell at Stumac and all these other places. Anyway, that's it. That's how you set for the binding. I've already set the depth. I like this router, by the way. It's uh, actually a compact router. I used to use a laminate trimmer. So it's almost as small as a laminate trimmer, but it's one and a quarter horsepower, so it's good power on it. I'm doing a little DeWalt DW611 review here. It's okay, let me. Uh, I just got this dust shield, this optional dust shield, which um, we'll see if it works. Oh, it actually works. It's kind of a pain in the butt because you can't really see.
that's it right there. That's actually the first step. We're going to do another step in here to do the um, to do the purfling. Obviously, the purfling I use a use a shorter one. It's not as deep as the binding itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to step it in one more time, and you know we'll take this adjustment. Call it a zero bar. Open it up. Set the binding in. Set the purfling in. Set the depth. And we'll be all good. Now, with the depth of this, you know, as with doing binding on the body, you got to make sure that you keep the router bit and the bearing bit perpendicular to the cut but if you do that all the way around you'll see that this actually fits really really nice in there and you can make your binding channels exactly the same size as your binding when you use something like a uh, they call it a zero bar and I didn't create this stole this idea somebody makes a, a zero bar binding cutter expensive you know me cheap so I made my own, you can do it different ways, but uh, this is actually adjustable, so I can actually zero it out right in this area. It takes a few trial cuts, but uh, this works well for me. So hopefully this works for you.